Hey guys, today we're back to Gloomhaven. Tiles for Gloomhaven. So, I'm gonna do something quick because, of course, we've got Easter and uh, all kinds of family stuff going on. So, um, I really wanted to do this for the last round because we actually used uh, these little water tiles, you know, cardboard things there for Gloomhaven. There's the triple ones, and there's double ones, and there's singles. So, I already went ahead and I made some foam core pieces. I right, two resemble the same thing. You know, and of course make them so that they fit together, like so. So I just have to modge podge them. And then we're gonna give them some color like these things. And afterwards, throw some water texture on. I think it's going to be cool. Again, making some little bit more 3D style, you know, pieces uh, for the game, and you know, I think it'll just add to it. But at the same time, though, too, it's good to keep things kind of, you know, low in the game, um, so it's easy to see around the characters. Because of course, they're super small. They're really not that big when you look at. Uh, something in comparison to the Citadel bottle. You can see how tiny he is. And of course, if you have terrain or anything like that that's really big for this game, it makes it kind of difficult to see where your guys are, the monsters are, stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. So, let's, um, let's get started. All right, so we want to make our tiles similar to this. Right, but with some texture to it to add to it. So, first thing we need to do is we need to seal these and give ourselves a nice black base. So that's my black and glue mixture. The only thing that sucks about this is that no matter what you do, you're going to get some paint on you. There we go. Obviously, you're going to have to do a couple layers because uh, a couple of sessions you can only paint one side and I do like to make sure I cover both sides with this I may not paint the other side of it because it's just gonna be sitting flat on the board but I like to make sure it's protected no matter what I don't want my stuff to get ruined so this is basically your your protective layer Of course, you know, if I get a little bit rubbed off my fingers, I can get those spots <coughs> on the next round. There we go. The two big ones are done. come back finish the other side and then we'll start painting with some color all right so I went ahead and I finished these off and got the rest of them Mod Podge protected so good and strong now not just foam so we need to add some color so we need some grays maybe a little bit of like a not just a white, but like an off-white. Some green, a little bit of brown. There we go, some gray. Some dark gray. Yeah, 
golden brown would probably be good. And there's like an actual lush foliage green. We may as well do this in layers. Yeah, they fit together well. So, let's see here. just mainly to accent it. Try and create some difference between them too. Yeah, I think they'll look good when it's all together. to the last one the first one's kind of dried up a bit so you can kind of keep painting highlight little areas because this is just going to be for underwater blend a little bit. some of those hard edges. You don't really have to wash your brush. You can just dip right into the next bit of paint, blend it in. some color we're gonna add yet too so
Only a couple more to do. I think the patterns are gonna look pretty cool. That's just basically our grays and light grays and blacks. Could go more serious like that, right? And really kind of make the blend happen. But again, this is it doesn't have to be crazy because most of it's gonna get covered over anyway. So we're gonna put some of this little brown color. green. There's little spots of green here and there. I need some finer than that, I think. know how well this is going to show up through the texture but you know, it's fun of playing around with stuff like this I'm just going to add in some like little bits of green Painting the rest, this can be drying. But just for fun, we're gonna add some extra texture. Use a cheap brush. texture over it, it's going to fill in over top, and then it'll look great. Some right here. I don't know. for now and then I'll do a couple of maybe the smaller ones like that too some of these that'll give me 
half of those, half of these, and then maybe I'll do three of these. So that's literally, there's six of these, there's six of those, and there's two of these. So that means half of them will have stones and half of them won't. That'll look good. Now, just for a little added, I'm gonna add a little bit of white around the stones. goes on blue, but it kind of heals somewhat transparent after. Lift up and these little ridges. Now, this would be different if we had some form of direction, but we don't. We don't know, you know, if the water's flowing this way or that way because these can be placed down on the map in any direction afterwards. So, you kind of have to go a little bit sporadic with it. I think that's going to look cool right there. So before we do any of the others, we're going to let the rest of them dry. We'll see how this one turns out in case we need to make any changes. There we go. So there we have it. We have our water tiles. You can see some of the color coming through. That turned out pretty good. You can put them all together. just so they don't slide on. I think we do that be easier because <clears throat> they're pretty light so they it doesn't take much to move them. So there we have it. There's our water. Our blue hand. Let's replace these. I think that looks cool. Anyway, short video back to Easter. Everyone has a great holiday and uh, we'll see you next week.